Hello everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I wanted to talk about why the chart of accounts and the products and services list in QuickBooks Online are so important. As you can see right now, I am in Craig's Design and Landscaping Sample Company and I have accessed their chart of accounts which you can go ahead and access yourself by clicking on the accounting tab and then clicking on the chart of accounts and as you can see here, one of the things I look at is when I'm looking at the chart of accounts to see if there's any weird balances, like for instance, opening balance equity should be zero if everything is set up properly, or if there's any other odd things that um, eventually I will want to click into, like you can see that there's some uh, negatives here for the MasterCard, which may mean it's not set up properly or some other things are going on with it. Just to kind of look and see, also we have a negative bank balance of uh, $3,600 in checking, so that's a red flag there. The other thing I want to look at is whether or not there's some sort of rhyme or reason with the chart of accounts, because you got to remember your chart of accounts is the skeleton of your entire QuickBooks file. If things are set up properly in the chart of accounts, then it's going to reflect on the reports, how those turn out when you run those reports. So if you've got categories that need to be regrouped or whatever, then you really need to spend the time working on getting those set up properly. And a lot of times what I'll see is when people are wanting me to review their files is that their chart of accounts have duplicate accounts listed in there. There's accounts that are out of order. Like for instance, we have a job materials a line item here. And then as we go down here, there's also a job materials under expenses and things like that. So these things need to be cleaned up. Those are indications of things that were done erroneously. It's best to get it done at the get-go, but a lot of times that doesn't happen. So the other thing that I also want to look at is the products and services list. So let me take a, a couple of seconds or so to switch to that, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about with it. And so now you can see I'm in the products and services list here, and it's known as the items list in desktop. And what I'm saying here can also apply to desktop as well to a certain extent. But basically you get to this area by clicking on the sales tab and then going to the products and services. You can also click over here on the gear icon and get to it as well under lists. But um, as you can see, I'm in here. And as you can see, they've uh, got some different groupings uh, depending on the typical typical things that they work with in here so what I ideally want to do and this is something that's not turned on so you wouldn't know it unless you happen to know how this would work you go over here to this little baby gear icon under settings and you want to turn on the income and expense accounts and I'm going to go ahead and unclick the SKU in the type so that'll give us a little bit more landscape to play around with. There's also other things that you can turn on or off. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and turn off some of these other things. But I'll leave the rest of these up. So, Because what I want to do, ideally, is I want to basically view the income and expense accounts together. It's going to take me a couple of seconds to expand these columns so that we can see. And then I'm going to click on the column of your headings. And you'll see in just a couple of seconds, hopefully, with the magic of editing, how this will come out. Okay, so with the magic of editing, you can see that I've expanded out the income account and the expense account. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the expense account because that's really what I want to sort on right now. Because what I want to see, ideally, if these items are set up properly in the products and services list, you're going to see that a lot of these are going to have income accounts assigned to them, or they might have something else assigned to them on the income side, which is perfectly well and good. This is when you're going to actually be invoicing a client. But the other side that you want to see is if you also contract with someone to buy, purchase these items from them or if you subcontract with somebody you want to see an expense account attached to those as well so that way the standard workflows will work well so as you can see with these first few we have the cost of goods sold account and then if you also 
In a lot of cases, if you have different cost of services, they would also go under that cost of goods sold. You can also subcategorize those. But the bottom line is, is that for this to work right, you want to create what we call double-sided items. And these are all double-sided items that you can see right in here. Any of those that do not have an expense account attached to them, you may need to look at those and see why those are not created as double-sided. Some of them may not need to be. But if you're doing any kind of subcontracting, and I don't know if any, like if you have any uh, trimming that you're subcontracting out, you need to have an expense account or a cost of goods sold attached to that, either an expense or a cost of goods sold attached to that. So that way those can be reflected in the reports as you run. Hopefully this will help you today as you're looking at working with different clients and their files. But those are the first couple of areas that I look at when I'm looking at a file, you know, just to make sure if those items are not set up correctly, then we know that we have some work that needs to be done. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel as well as share it with others. I am adding on average one video per week, including the occasional motivational video. I would love nothing more than to help you maximize your usage of QuickBooks Desktop and online. My email is below as well as the number where you can text me for more information and to set up an initial consult. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.